In today's tutorial, I'm going to share five things that are going to help you become a successful freelance web designer. Now, these five things I'm going to share with you are very, very important because they are going to help you really have that edge above your competitors. Okay, so let's start off with number one. So number one is choosing a platform. So this is a uh, platform that you're going to use to design all your websites and the one i recommend is wordpress it's very very flexible and it has a lot of um, plugins that you can add to it in order for you to design pretty much any type of website you need for example if you install your basic install of wordpress you can turn that website into an e-commerce store a membership website a, a listing directory and so on so it is very, very flexible and there's a lot of themes and also plugins out there to help you design the type of websites that you need. Now, once you've chosen WordPress, when it comes to making that website look beautiful, you're going to need a page builder. Now, there's several out there like Beaver Builder, Divi and uh, Elementor. So you need to master one of them. Okay, now in my case, I've mastered Divi. That's the one, uh, that's my go to page builder. I really love uh, how uh, it's all laid out and how easy it is to use. So you need to choose the one that you like and master it. Because with one page builder, you can pretty much design different types of layouts and different types of uh, uh, websites just using that one page builder. So gone are the days where you need to use different themes for each web design project. And the good thing about Divi as well is they come with uh, pre-made layouts and they release two every week, which means you can have a very good starting point when it comes to designing new websites. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. Now, remember, I say these things I'm going to share with you are going to give you that edge above your competitors. Okay, so here we go. So the next thing, uh, the second thing is traffic. Now, when you design a website, you also need to find a way to bring traffic to that website. Otherwise, you're going to have a beautiful website which does not have any visitors. And I can guarantee you, if you design a beautiful website today, put it online and no one knows about it, you are not going to get anyone or uh, no one's going to come and see that website. So it's important that you start learning how to uh, bring traffic to the websites that you build. So this also includes things like paid traffic, uh, be it Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn. You also need to have that basic understanding. So when you go to your clients and you design their websites, you can also uh, say to them, look, I can also help you bring traffic to your website. So this can also be done locally. So let's say you live in uh, my area here, Birmingham, you can start advertising or getting traffic from this specific area of Birmingham to that particular website. So this is where you're going to have that edge above just someone who comes across and says, I can build websites and that's it. Because especially for small businesses, a website which has no traffic is pretty much useless. Okay, moving on. Now, the number three example is, uh, or number three item I'm going to discuss is um, very, very important. It's, uh, it's a bit advanced, but before I go into number three, I want to give you a uh, quick story that happened yesterday when I took my car to the garage to get it uh, serviced. So when I got there, I mean, I got to know the guy who runs uh, the garage. So he asked me a basic question. He says, oh, what do you do? And I said, well, I do uh, online marketing. Uh, mainly, uh, I create uh, content online and use that content to promote you know, my courses and also uh, some affiliate links. And then he was like, okay, that sounds very interesting. So I guess um, you may know people that uh, can design a website for me. So I asked him, what sort of website do you need? And he says, look, all I need is just a basic website. We have a promotion uh, for um, service uh, for a, a car servicing, which is about 200 uh, pounds. And after they get that service, we are going to also give them some uh, free items that come with it. So it's just a promo. So I said, OK, and um, what areas are you looking at? So pretty much you were saying, look, I prefer having the local area because uh, what uh, what also comes with that is um, free pickup and delivery of the car that needs to be fixed. So let's say you're working, they're able to come to your workplace, pick up the car, and then drop it off once all the, uh, once the job is done. So I thought to myself, wow, this is fantastic. So in that case, do you need 
someone who is going to build you a fully fledged website with that request? Absolutely not. So this is where number three comes in. And this, um, this is basic funnels. So what I was thinking in my head was, okay, so this could be a pretty much a basic page which has an opt-in which says, uh, sign up below or book your car for a, a discounted service and this is what we do for you, uh, A, B, C, D, E. And then when they sign in, um, the guy gets an email and then he follows up with the call. So that's a basic, basic page. So these things can be also achieved using your page builder. In fact, I have a tutorial which I did which shows you how to create an opt-in uh, opt uh, page using Divi. So you can go ahead and take a look at that. But pretty much you can do this with any um, page builder. So being able to design basic funnels is very, very important because there are cases where you're going to uh, need to suggest to a client that all you need to do is to have a page, maybe let's say come um, Easter time or Christmas time or Black Friday. So these are the cases where you want to quickly put together a funnel where people opt in to get the discount and then they get a thank you page and then they get a confirmation page. So this is how a funnel works. Now, to make the funnel complete, you also need to tie it in with an email autoresponder um, software like ConvertKit, MailChimp. And these things can be done quite easily. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's companies out there like uh, ClickFunnels. Now, they've made a ton of money and basically they, uh, their uh, software is pretty much funnels, right? Uh, landing pages, which has follow-up uh, follow pages. So this can also be achieved using page builders. It's quite straightforward. You just, to understand, you just need to understand you know, the concept of how that's going to be uh, merged together. But definitely, uh, this can be done. So having that knowledge of how to put together a basic funnel, which can also bring results, is a great thing to learn. Okay, moving on to number four, design skills. Now, in the uh, previous video that I did uh, last year about how to become a successful freelance designer, I mentioned design skills. Yes, and this is back on the list. Design skills are very, very important because having that eye for color, layout, and uh, the use of typography can really make your designs look very, very professional. So this is an area that I recommend that you go in and uh, really check out. I also have a course which is quite cheap, you know, it's only $47, but this will get you up and running with Photoshop and it has all the design rules that you need to know as well as learning how to use Photoshop. But you don't have to just uh, use Photoshop, you can also use tools like Canva, uh, this is online, and also there's a ton of tutorials on YouTube which can show you how to learn design or the fundamentals of design. So this is definitely essential to uh, helping you become a successful web designer. Okay, so we are on number five, and I know number five, you're going to say, well, Mac, you must be crazy, but you know what? Um, basic video editing is very, very important. Now, this may seem like it's not connected with web design, but I'll tell you how this is connected. Now, there's a lot of predictions out there, uh, one mainly from Cisco, which says uh, by 2020, 90% uh, of the traffic on the internet is going to be video. Okay, now think about it. If you're going to be designing websites, traffic is the, one of the most important things. It's like the way I look at it is like having a car and the fuel being the traffic. Okay, so the car is your website and the uh, fuel is the traffic. So there's no point in having a beautiful car with no fuel. I mean, how are you going to drive it around? Likewise, uh, there's no point of having a beautiful, beautiful looking website which has no one coming to visit that website. So this is where the traffic comes in. Now, the experts are telling us that 90% of the traffic online is going to be video, right? So how are you going to drive traffic to your website if they're telling us 90% of the traffic is going to be video? Well, you need to learn how to uh, do vi uh, basic video editing. And now, uh, the uh, the, end, uh, the barrier to entry is now even much, much easier, you know? You can now edit videos using things like ScreenFlow, Camtasia. You can even do it on your phone. I mean, now it's become that easy. So I would say this is a skill that you really want to uh, start learning now. 
in order for you to have that edge. And also, uh, when you create these videos, uh, like what I do, I create my uh, videos, put them on YouTube, some on Facebook, and people do discover my website through this because I don't do any SEO, to be honest, because I find it really, really challenging, especially in my um, niche market, uh, web design, most of these keywords are very, very, very difficult to compete for. So the only way I can compete is by doing videos, which then link to my website. So this is something that you may want to look on. So let's uh, look into. So let's go through these five things one more time. So the first one is uh, choose a platform and I recommend WordPress and also uh, once you've chosen WordPress, choose a page builder that you stick with, like for example, Divi, there's Elementor, there's, um, there's also Beaver Builder, and also some up, uh, other upcoming ones. But uh, in my case, I use Divi, so master that page builder and become very, very good at it because by doing that, you can design pretty much any type of website. Let's move on to number two, traffic. Um, learning how to get traffic to your website, that is very, very important because this can be your edge. So you can actually say to your customers, I can design your website and also bring you some traffic. And of course, when you bring traffic to the website and you, ha and you have uh, goals on that website, that is how you show that your work is successful. Okay, moving on, basic funnels. I know I went to, uh, a lot into detail here about funnels, but these are very important in terms of uh, in cases where you want to run promotions or in cases where you just want to collect um, leads for your clients. So basic funnels are very, very important. And also um, learning how to connect that with, uh, with your autoresponder. And number four is design skills. Again, you know, learning design skills that will make your uh, websites look very professional. And number five, it's basic video editing. And this, uh, the video editing I'm talking about does not really have to involve you doing color grading and all that kind of stuff. It can be videos which have uh, images with a voiceover, for example, or it can be just text on the screen. But just learning how to do these basic things is very important because 90% of the traffic online is going to be video. Okay, so this, um, these are my five things that I would say are very, very important in order for you to become a successful web designer, I think in 2018, moving forward. Now, let me hear what you say. Do you agree with these five things or do you have more that you want to add? Uh, I'm curious to hear them. Uh, so do leave them in the comments box below. So uh, that's all I have for you today. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.